With the help of total strangers, an Apple AirTag has been traveling to all corners of Europe and they have been sending us amazing photos. This video is about how the little AirTag's journey continued. Jonas emailed me from Lappinrenta, Finland, and in our last video he showed us his city during the winter. However, he also sent pictures from a day trip to Finland's capital Helsinki. So that's where we continue. Check out how awesome these trains look in Finland. And so, on a cold winter night in Finland, Jonas had to say goodbye to his new little friend and he mailed it to its next destination. Next stop is Roklaf in Poland, from where Viktor sent me an email. He is going to be the AirTag's next host. After mailing it from the supermarket, the AirTag made its way to the mail center in Helsinki and from there to the Helsinki International Airport. It flew to Frankfurt, spent about two hours here and then continued on to Warsaw in Poland. From here it made a quick jump to the Poland International Mail Center. Five days later it was delivered to Wiktor. It looks like we hit a snag. Victor left the AirTag in his pants that went into the washing machine. The AirTag stopped responding and it was sent back to me in the Netherlands. The electronics inside the AirTag seemed damaged and so I put a new AirTag together with old and new parts and sent this Frankenstein AirTag off to its next destination. Next stop is Malta, where Eduardo contacted me. He offered to receive the AirTag. After sending the AirTag, I eventually picked it up at Lies Airport in Belgium. 
From Liège it flew to Marseille in the south of France, continued by a flight to Malta. It spent almost five weeks at the San Juan post office. Eduardo started to ghost me and eventually the airtag came back to the Netherlands as being undeliverable. Let's try our luck with Italy this time where Pietro contacted me from. He offered to take the AirTag on a small Italy tour. So I mailed the AirTag to Italy and the next day it was at the International Postenel Center. From here it started its long road trip to Milan's airport in Italy. It spent a day there and then it continued its trip to Florence where it got delivered. Pietro is not going to only show Florence, but also take the AirTag along on a cycling trip. After taking this video, Pietro cycled 11 kilometers to its next stop and then realized the AirTag was no longer there with him and that he must have dropped it at his last stop. He left his friends behind, cycled the 11 kilometers back to find the AirTag and then another 11 kilometers to catch up with his friends. Thanks Pietro for the effort. It's time to mail the AirTag to its last stop and that is in Slovakia. The participants from this channel are from all walks of life and so I got contacted by Martin, a priest from a small village in Slovakia. He offered to take the AirTag around and I figured I couldn't refuse this offer. After mailing the AirTag from Florence it made its way back to Milan airport. It took a flight to Frankfurt and from there the long road trip to Slovakia had started. Eventually it was delivered at Martin's church house. Martin mailed the AirTag to Chisinau, capital of Moldova, from this little post office. In the next video we'll see how this journey continues. The AirTag has been hosted by 17 participants so far and I'm looking for new people to help me fill up the gaps. If you are in one of these countries that is marked green on this map, please contact me and we'll make this AirTag even travel further. 
The Pacific Explorer just left New Caledonia and is now on its way to Easter Island. Yes, I hear you and it's coming, it just takes a while. My next video will be about the AirTag doing the USA tour. Right now it's in California and waiting to be mailed to Michigan.